Alright guys, so let's continue from where we left off. Um, last time we did the Alexis Quan missing person side mission. Now, before we get into our main mission right over here, we're actually going to do one more side mission for this district, alright? Now, if you guys didn't know, if you actually finish all the side missions, uh, missions for the district, you actually end up getting a blueprint, a purple blueprint, like which you can actually later use to craft items, uh, like purple items, which are pretty uh, awesome. They're like the superior weapon uh, tier, so it's pretty awesome. Weapons or gears, whatever it is, I don't really know what we get, but we're going to go ahead and finish that up, so let's get to it. It's going to be the uh, Kip, Kip's Bay Food Supplies, all right? It looks okay. like Trigger Mike's friends are still around. No, 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 stop it. Stop it. We'll go for a walk later. <clears throat> anyway, they're shooting at the nice people trying to bring in our latest supply drop. Think you can lend a hand? Oh, wow. I can't believe they both blew, <laughs> blew up. Alright, um, so... Like I said, uh, you get these purple blueprints, um, which we can uh, use them to actually craft items, which is pretty awesome. Um, you have to finish all the side missions for that specific district. For if you take a look at this one, so this is so. If you like zoom out, you can actually see like it outlines for this district. So this is one of the district. This is the Kips Bay, and then if you actually go into here, this is the Murray Hill. So like this district, there's only one side mission left. So we're gonna try and do that. So let's get to it. All right, so there's only uh, what is it? Supply drop. Boy, okay, so we reach. We reach the supply drop. This one's probably gonna be a little bit tough. Oh, these guys are all here. Oh, jeez. Drop this guy. Crap, damn. This guy's on the side of spawn right here or something. There we go. Okay, I need uh, I need to get to the supply. All right, let's just go real, real quick. LMG out. Oh. Oh my god, I'm taking damage. Probably should have caught it. There we go. Incoming hostiles. We also found something. Ooh. Okay, we'll get that. We can have obviously use that later to uh, craft weapons or use it for weapon parts if you don't want it. Ooh, I should probably get there fast, eh? Let's run, let's run, let's run. Oh, taking damage. Who's in here? Oh, they're... Half of them did. <laughs> One of them blew up. Okay. These guys are level 23, so they're a bit more... Um... Incoming hostiles. More coming? Wow. Okay, let's get to the other one. I don't know why he took cover there. Take care of this guy. He's close to the supplies. There we go. Wow. Ammo and kibble. You really That's know how it? to bring it home, Agent. I thank you. Kip's Bay thanks you. Shot a man and his friends. Natasha and Julio and that weird little schnauzer named Brutus. They thank you too. Okay, I didn't ex expect it to be that fast. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that. What the hell? This is a level 23 area. So if you guys didn't know, i am actually done all the uh, side missions for that district. So we're going to go ahead over to uh, the safe house for the final mission. Not the final mission, we just have to talk to the situation guy. And then uh, they give this blueprints where you can actually use to craft weapons. So let's go ahead and take a look what kind of a blueprint they have. Now we have to get some weapon parts as well. I don't think I have enough to create anything. So... Let's take a look uh, when we get there. All right, I might actually do a video on crafting uh, and like everything explained because I was pretty confused uh, when I started the game. Like it was a lot of things, and you know, it wasn't very well explained this in this game. So I thought uh, I would definitely uh, um, do a video on that probably later. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we have to talk to the situation guy and this guy right here. Wow. Taking out trigger mic and getting those right. There we go. The supply drop? There we got a SASG 12k <sighs> blueprint. So that's a purple blueprint. Ooh, we leveled up. That's pretty awesome. Just like I uh, told you guys in my previous video, doing side missions will get you a lot of XP. That was 52,000 XP right there. And then uh, we just uh, leveled up. Okay, so we do have a nice blueprint and we also found this weapon, which we're not gonna use. 
Now, if you wanna, we found something. We got something actually. Um, wow, that's a pretty bad one. Yeah, definitely a bad one. That's not very good. It puts my skill power down all the way down to five thousand. I don't like it. Um, I might do a video on this as well, trying to explain to you guys which ones you should choose. Um, because uh, I got a bit confused when I started the game to kind of, you know, figure out what to use, alright? There's way too many things, and uh, I'm probably going to do a video on that as well. So let's get to our base of operations, and then uh, we'll check what we can craft. I don't think, like I said, I have enough to craft, but um, let's see what the blueprint is at least. Um, blueprints are actually when you finish all the side missions for that specific um, district, you actually get these blueprints. Um, for that specific level as well. So the one I finished was uh, level 20 to 23 Which means you'll get a blueprint in that level uh, range So you won't get like something crazy good, but it is still definitely better than most of the um, Stuff in that area or most of the stuff you'll find so unless you go into the dark zone obviously, but uh, That's a totally different story uh, I've been playing a lot of Dark Zone as well recently, which is pretty good. I found like a you know group of people, and I just we just kept looting and looting. It was pretty fun. Um, I need to make sure I upgrade my filters because my filters are still level three, and I can't get to certain places. So I need to upgrade my wider slab on the medical clinic. So we're at base of operations. Just get in there real quick. So as you can see, 80, 80, and 50% because we have two missions as you can, as you saw last time on our map, two main missions for the, uh, what's it called? What is that one called? Security ring, yes, security ring, damn. Okay, so let's go to the crafting station here. Alright, so that's what the web, that's what the blueprint is, right here. So it definitely seems like a good, good one, um, it's gonna be a shotgun. Um, weapon blueprint. So we definitely need 20 weapon parts for that, and we only have four. So I'm not going to be able to do that just yet. But if you guys didn't know, if you wanted the best way to find blueprints is just by doing this. I'll show you guys. Head over to this guy. So as you can, as you remember, I got this weapon right just a minute ago. I'm probably not going to use it. I don't know. Let's see if I have any shot. Oh, wait, this is wait. I need to talk to this guy. Okay, so this is the weapon I got, and I don't really have any other shotguns. I don't know if I'm sh I should sell it or not. Now, we don't need this, so we're going to get rid of that. So we're going to mark it as junk. Um, uh, probably going to probably gonna do that when I get out of here. So we need to open up this thing. Inventory, go in there, and then go into, what was that? This one right here. Oh, no. Which one was that? That I don't need it. Nope. Yeah, one of those. Okay, we don't definitely don't need this one, so we're gonna mark it as junk. And you obviously get fabric for these ones, but if you actually uh, get rid of one of the weapons, you get uh, weapon parts, which is pretty awesome. But I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. I think they're pretty decent, so I might end up keeping them for now. Like this hot gun, it has 11.5k damage, so. It's not too bad, definitely not too bad. So, um, yeah, we're definitely gonna do a video later about how to, um, you know, pick the right guns and you know, explaining all the DPS, the health system, and the skill power, all of that. All right, guys. So we'll just stop this video. It's a bit of a short video, actually. Or should we do another encounter? We could do another encounter, but um, we could do one of those. Um, Actually, you know what? We'll just stop it here. It's a bit of a short video. That's okay. And then next time we're level 25, so we should be able to definitely do these ones. So we're gonna go ahead and do these after. All right, guys. We'll stop here, and I'll see you guys in my next video.